Hey guys, we're continuing with our Regents Review series. Today we're answering question 10. Um, determine the gradient in meters per kilometer between point C and D. So it's talking about this map right here in your answer booklet in which we drew our isolines in, uh, previously. So, and it's asking for the gradient between C and D. The first thing you need to do for gradient, if you go on your Regents Review, sorry, reference table, page one, you'll see the gradient equation. It says change in field value divided by distance. The change in field value just means the change in uh, the value on the, on the map. For instance, on our field map, our values uh, represent depth of the lake. So from C to D, you need the change or difference in the depth between C and D, or change in value between C and D, and then divided between the distance, divided by the distance between C and D. So let's see. D has a value of 400. C has a value of zero. So on the top part of my uh, equation is change in field value right here. So that's just bigger uh, value minus smaller value. That's, we're just finding the difference. So it should be D minus C. I'm going to do it over here. 400 is D minus C is zero. So I have my numerator, my change in field value already. And in the bottom, I need my distance. So for your distance, you will need scrap paper. I'm using um, index card right now. And I'm going to take it underneath C and D and then just mark where C is, the dot for C and the dot for D. I took, I marked down the distance between C and D and now I just need to know what distance this is from our map scale in the bottom. And if I align this correctly, I see that the distance is 1.5 kilometers. And I can add that in the bottom here, 1.5 kilometers. And the top, according to my worksheet, I believe it's in, everything is in, let me just double check, in meters. So I drew my 500 feet or, uh, meter depth isoline before. So the top should be meters. Um, and if I calculate this, 400 minus zero divided by 1.5, it gives me 266.67. My unit will be a double unit. It should be the top slash the bottom unit. So my unit will be meters slash kilometers. And your answer can actually be anywhere between 250 to 286 meters per kilometer. That's it.